I don't like water. I never have. I don't like carving. I do it because I don't know anything else. I don't use a mallet and I don't use a vise. I just sit with it freely on my knee. I don't stand up at a bench. I just sit freely at it and I get the wood first and then think of the idea to fit that piece of wood. But the most important thing is that piece of wood. Everyone says, oh, I've got a piece that's seasoned or air dried. No good whatsoever. That wood is still alive. Years later, the damp will get it, the heat from the radiator, and it will warp and move and crack. People have come to me, they've done lovely faces and things. What do I do with this? It's all cracking up here and there. It's the wrong piece of wood. You have to get the right... I will not start unless I get the right piece of wood. Lime is the best wood to use. It's nice and soft and mild and you still have to get the right section of the tree because it will crack like any other tree will crack. And uh, I've always sucked by lime and when I can't get lime then I use Brazilian mahogany and those are the only two woods I use. And um, there's your tree with the bark round. There's your arch. It has to be that piece from there. So you've got to go in a sawmill and find that piece from there which is very difficult because the staff in the sawmill don't know, they just want to sell you a load of planks. They don't care which piece. But I want that piece or I won't do it. And that's the only piece they ever use, and it's called a quarter tone piece. None will ever crack. Uh, I used to live in a fire engine, and I used to tunnel just on the subject of this. I knew nothing about the news or what was going on in the world around me. And I found there was an engineering company who said I could park around the back and become their night watchman and I just bought her free. So when they'd all gone home from this engineering company, there's a great big coke fire. So I'd be at a certain stage, I said, no, that's not good, I'm not happy with that. On the fire. And I'd burn them all and start again. And the idea was progress, get better and better. No pats on the back, nobody to see it, just burn it. One day, one of the workers stayed over and saw a piece, really quite nice, thrown on the fire. And he spread the word the next day, he is mentally disturbed. These were called togetherness, and no one else was doing these. I come up with the padlock, she painted the keys. And it goes on and on. You had a tatty wallet, didn't you? This was 15 years ago? Yeah. And um, I made up the credit card edges on the wallet and it just went from there didn't it? That is one piece of wood and I painted the stitching round, painted the stamp, painted a picture of us and painted the credit cards and it got in the Royal Academy so I'm sure what was nice is we did it together. So exactly on that morning I get a letter from the Royal Academy saying that that one's been accepted so I didn't tell her. We're on the train going to Wareham and I pulled out what was it first, a rose? Did I safety it? pin. Oh, I pulled out a safety pin and I said, you should always carry one of these. So what's that for? Because you never know when you're going to get one of these. And I pulled out a rose. Yeah. Well, what's that for? It says, because we have been accepted in the Royal Academy Summer Show. The very first time I got in, I'd never been in a gallery before. Hmm. And there I am on the wall in the Royal Academy. You know. The very first time I got three pieces in. Well, you've got yeah. to do sculpture of her. Yeah. <laughs> and at the time of we actually met, I was making this rocking horse in, in that craft centre. And I was making it for a child who was... I didn't really want to make a rocking horse. The child was very small, but she had a big sister, and I taught myself out of it by saying, the big girl will feel left out if I make a little rock and so I made it for the big girl and the little girl could grow into it and that's how it came about. It was all laid up woods. Where they put glass eyes in, I put the different different woods in. Sycamore, walnut and ebony. And we moved on to, we just made whatever we wanted to make. Hello. What did you learn from each other from collaborating on the art pieces? 
well, uh, patience and understanding, and mm. the working things out, and yeah. putting up with the different things, and uh, lots of excitement of ideas, and then not doing them. You know, we have a temper mattress upstairs that fits the shape of your body. We have a temper pillar that fits your neck, and we don't sleep a wink. We're thinking all the time of what to make and how to make it. So we get up mm. with an idea, quite excited. I think I'll make this. I found an old tree root and it was in a bit of a mess because it's been lying around in all weathers. I sanded the corners, I've shaped it and I coated it in the black resin. That was actually a tree root. And in my little work shed, I sit on a swivel chair. The roof is here and it's glass. So I get light daylight, I get no shadows. When you sit in a place with windows, you get shadows all the time. I don't get any shadows, I see pure daylight. There is 100 different timbers there. Now, when someone said, where's your lathe? What sort of lathe have you got for all these eggs? I said, no, I've done them by end. He said, you're a mug. You can do them in seconds on a lathe. But when you do them by hand, you remember every one. I kept a bag with all the shavings in from each one. And because every one is a different word, I stopped at 100. I remember them all. Because But you do them on a lathe, and what they do on a lathe, they make a big mistake. They seal the wood. Well, the bowls and things they make, people handle them, so they have to seal them. But it discolours the wood. Now, doing that, you have to keep it its natural colour. So fanatical wood collectors can look and say, oh, there's a piece of lignavita. He knows the woods. But if they've all gone yellow, sycamore, if it goes yellow because they've sealed it, it's terrible. So those are all up here. Yeah. Maranti, Macori, these are the redwoods first. Maranti, Macori, Caroin Utilia Bura, Iroko Avamosia, I dig Boba Binga, Pa Bruno Pa Rosa, Azobi Varroa. And they go on and on. And on. I said that to a friend once, he says, is that some kind of foreign language? <laughs> <laughs> so I went through hundreds of matches, learning how to hold them. Time you separated a couple of links, You've still got to be able to do all those links while you do the rest of the links without breaking it. So I broke tons of it before I eventually was able to do eight links on a chain. It took me forever making little tools that were suitable and then to make the chain it took me forever. Then it took me two seconds to burn it. <laughs> It looks quite simple, but when you've got to open it up there, being able to take the clip out and thread it through there without it snapping off there, and then clip it back in again, it took a little bit of figuring out. The, the range goes from oh, all kinds of things. I got carried away with these. I did so many of these mobile. I make all little things as well. I, I don't just do complicated things, they're simple things. And I said to Anna, I said, with a serious face, I said, you are the apple of my eye. <laughs>